Hey guys, I wanted to talk a little bit about clicker training today and just give you a little bit of info about it because it's not something that I've made a lot of videos about. And this is going to be a pretty little in, informal video. I'm not going to go crazy in depth on it. I feel like there's a lot of good clicker training videos out there, but probably one of the number one mistakes I see being made with clickers is people that just start using the clicker and clicking away to try to help their dog get better at behaviors and they don't see any improvement. And the reason for that is because they never spent any time adding value or teaching the dog what the click means. And so this little girl here, her name's Zoe. I'm going to be doing what I call charging the clicker or adding value to the clicker right now. And what that does is going to teach her that the click means a reward is coming, that I've done the right thing. Ultimately, that's what we want the dog to understand is that the click marks that you've done the correct behavior for us. And so where that helps us out long term is let's say I'm training a dog and I'm trying to teach it to do something far away from me. Let's say I'm trying to teach an emergency down. An emergency down is where I tell the dog down and I want them to drop into that down 50 feet away from me. A lot of dogs struggle with that. They think down means come right in front of you and lay right here like she is right now. And so if I want to have an emergency down where I can tell that dog down 50 feet away from me and I know that they're going to drop into it, I can use the clicker to reward as soon as they do the correct behavior. So that way then I don't have to run all the way over there to give them the reward. The reward kind of comes with the click <clears throat> that marks that they did the right thing and then I can come and reward them later. So what you want to start by doing is, like I said, charging the clicker or adding value to that clicker because the sound doesn't mean anything. I have met folks before that thought there's something special about a click sound that dogs just inherently like. No, inherently the click means nothing to the dog. You have to create value. So what you want to start doing is simply hanging out with your dog like this and do a couple sessions where all you do is click and reward. And you want to go about that fast. So the second most common mistake I see being made with the clicker is, like I said, first is people just clicking and thinking it's going to help and that it's going to help the dog to do what they want. Second is people click and reward at the same time. Well, if you do too much of that, you get a dog that always runs to the clicker for the reward. And remember, I want to be able to use the clicker for distance if I have to. So I want to click, pause, reward. I want there to be a tiny little gap in there. And I'll click for just about anything, but I don't want to accidentally click when she's doing some inappropriate behavior or something. So like right now she's not being super inappropriate, but she's distracted by somebody walking around over there and stuff. So I want to click when she does something that I like, like sure, a sit. Good girl. Oh, we dropped that one. And even I probably screwed up on that one. I was probably a little fast on my treat. I should have slowed down just a little bit. I'm going to click right there for her looking at me. I like to reward that eye contact stuff. She's a dog we've already started teaching place to, so I bet if I walk over to this bed, she'll hop on there. I know her owners have been working a lot on place with her. Good. Free. Now, the dog doesn't necessarily have to be doing anything. You could sit on your couch and charge the clicker. I could just sit here and... Good girl. As long as I'm not clicking and reinforcing bad behaviors, I can use that charging of the clicker. I can do anything I want during that to make sure that she understands that click just means happy endorphins should be going off, right? And so the main thing that I'm going to be using the clicker for with her over the next couple days is starting to teach her where I want her when she's walking. She tends to get a little bit of puppy brain still where she starts to understand where I want her and then boom, she's off somewhere else again. So I'm going to be using the clicker where I, when I take off walking with her, she roams around and does her thing. And then when she gets in the right position, boom, I click, then reward. And then we start seeing that happen more frequently where she starts saying, oh, I want to hang out there. Like that's the spot to be because that's where I get rewarded the most frequently. And it just helps out a lot with a dog like her because when I go to reward her while she's walking, a lot of times she tries to jump out and get to my hand. So that can confuse her because now she's saying, oh, I got to jump to get my reward and leave that position. Well, I'm trying to teach her I want her in this position right here. So the clicker can help to speed that up a bit. And I'll try to remember to make some videos of that over the next couple days. But right now, all I'm doing is charging the clicker, adding value to the clicker. So she knows the clicker means Adam's happy with me right now because clicker is happy endorphin release. My brain is happy when I hear that click noise. Again, if you just start clicking, your dog's not going to know what it means. If you click and reward too fast, your dog's always going to think they got to run to the clicker to get the reward. We don't want either of those things happening. We want the dog to know very clearly, click, and a reward is coming eventually. So anyway, hope that helps you guys understand clickers just a little bit more. And like I said, I'll show you how we incorporate it into actual training sessions. 
once I feel confident that she knows exactly what the clicker means. We'll go from there. Thanks for watching.